in the love of Jesus Christ. Welcome everyone. Today is Saint is Saint Teresa of Jesus Janet Ibars. You know, um, she has this uh, original name of Teresa Janet Ibars, but she is also known as Saint Teresa of Jesus Janet Ibars. Uh, you know, uh, she's from a Catholic family and she found the little sisters of abandoned elderly congregation. Uh, throughout the, uh, you know, if you look at her family, uh, her family has a great uh, spirituality, you know, Catholicism, you know, cat, cat, uh, Catholic families and every, everything, you know, venerable and, and this and that. You know, she was born on 9th uh, January 1843 in Iotona, Leda, Catalonia, which was a kingdom of Spain, actually. And from 1843 to, uh, you know, 1897 was her years. You know, she died uh, by 26th August um, in uh, 1897 at the age of 54. The same uh, place, but, uh, you know, uh, Lyria, uh, Valencia, Kingdom of Spain, um, where her, uh, you know, house was located which means the congregation house. You know, if we look at her family situations and everything, her father uh, her father and mother and uh, her entire family uh, means the, um, you know, uh, they are a farmer's family. Uh, her father's name is Francesco Jos Janet and mother's name is Antonietta Ibars. You know, she had two sisters as per, as per this one. She had two sisters and two brothers. Yeah, uh, sorry, one brother. You know, one sister's name is Maria and another was is Josepha. You know, uh, this Josepha became a, a Vincentian religious in Havana and um, Maria was with her, with uh, Saint Teresa. And uh, her brother got married and her three sisters. And later he also joined in Teresa of, uh, Teresa's congregation. So, you know, throughout our life is like, a, you know, um, it's nothing, um, you know, nothing um, but serving with uh, for God and with God. You know, she applied for uh, to become a poor class, but uh, it got some preventions, you know, uh, there and something. And after that, in uh, 1870s, she became a member of a secular um, Carmelites. After her father's death, uh, she, you know, cannot do something this and that and he has, she had so many problems with everything. And uh, she, uh, you know, uh, on 11th October 1872, she and her sister Maria moved to Barbosto and her friend Mercedes Calzenda is Sinan opened the first house in 1872 on 11th of october they have started the congregation and opened the first uh, house which means the monastery or something i mean we can say we, we know the names right so they have started that so, you know ibers founded a religious congregation taking the religious name teresa of jesus in honor of teresa of avila Okay, so uh, she was vested in the habit on 27th January 1873 and appointed the congregation's first superior. The mother house opened in Valencia in 8th May 1873. So it was there, you know, the, this and that and everything is there. You know, she was uh, beatified on uh, uh, 27th April 1957 by Pope Pius XII and canonized by uh, Pope Paul VI by 2000, uh, sorry, 27th January 1974. I'm sorry, today is a little bit of, uh, you know, going crazy and everything, but uh, you know, I'll, I'll uh, try to give the best, you know. See, uh, you know, um, she had a lot of uh, problems within her house and everything, you know, she took care of the sick people, the old people, the abandoned people. You know, uh, do we even care about the old people, uh, which means our father and mother, you know, do we even care about anyone but ourselves? We do not even care about anything. 
right you know she did take care of uh, everyone um, you know even nowadays they are doing everything you know as of 2019 there were um, you know more than 200 uh, religious in total of 204 house uh, throughout 21 european countries in latin america africa and asia it is there even even in uh, asian india it is there so you know um she did nothing uh, no miracles by uh, um, you know by the time sh uh, she was living no miracles like phone and that will happen you know uh, ignitum magnificent uh, she did not do anything like that you know uh, she did um, very easily you know by serving god by serving the poor people like everyone else can do you know we can do we can take care of the old people you know if there's old people you know uh, your grandmother or grandfather is asking you something will you do that with the uh, you know happiness with the love of god you know with uh, with the happiness in your heart no right if you are doing your great you're near to god but you have to improvise you have to implement God's words into your hearts and you have to be more kindful uh, towards your uh, or old elderly people and everyone and um, to other people also. If, uh, if you are giving all the you know credits and all the uh, respect into your family and you are moving out to the road and you are seeing a old person and you are seeing a sick person and you are seeing your elders and you are saying like uh, go man this and that if you are being you respect it you know it is not god's way you should pay respect to everyone even if it's small one or bigger one no matter what you know there's three stages for our ages right one is elder than us and the equal age and the elders uh sorry eldest right so uh youngest one we should pay respect to everyone we should learn that you know we should take care of the old people you know the old people literally not the old and sick people we can uh, in the you know uh, words of god those who are in need are old and sick right they cannot do anything by themselves unless we help something so let's take something from her life she did nothing else you know she did form the congregation and she did uh, help you know little uh, little sisters of abandoned elderly uh, this was her congregation's name and um, you know uh, she just took in people and she was just taking care of them and uh, you know nourishing them pampering them she did nothing else than that and uh, you know that was most and this is the first thing jesus wanted us to do right it is the excess uh, uh, thing that we can do out of the love that uh, we are expressing towards god so that is the thing we want to do in all our ages in all our uh, means so uh, let us also uh, do join in her lifestyle and everything you know let us just try to just try to do uh, our own um, you know uh, faithful act in our own families and everywhere and let us uh, do be with god um, with the prayers of uh, saint Teresa of jesus janet ivars you know let us also pray with her you know uh, let us do a, a smart prayer you know um, saint Teresa of uh, jesus janet ivars let us also be with uh, Jesus Christ and with the love of your uh, intercessions to serve uh, God in all the ways uh, as you did by all the means in all the times. Please grant us all the graciousness of God that we to uh, take care of the elder people and the old people and sick people and be with God in heaven with all the heavenly hosts so let us pray for that and uh, let's be uh, one with God so uh, that is the that is the parent of uh, everything else in a Christianity life so let us do that okay so um,
let uh, let all uh, get all the blessings from god and uh, everything and uh, let make god bless us and give us the blessings of caring spirit to us so let us ask uh, saint Teresa of jesus john uh, i pass and uh, let us be with god in one amen hallelujah